Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glory MC series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So today's video is going to be an update on the Hobonichi drawer pouches. So if you watched my last Hobonichi haul, I acquired a new Hobonichi pouch and I promised that I would do an update video talking about the different sizes and how they compare to each other. So that is what this video is going to be. Um, I do have four sizes here. These are not all the sizes. I think there is one more that's called the container and it's more of a box shape. And then they also have the bag, which I probably won't get if I'm honest. But um, I do have the other four here. So I will go through each one, kind of talk about the configuration and how they're all set up and then talk about how I use them and maybe also show how um, much things fit in them. So. If you are interested in the Hobonichi drawer pouches, then please stick around. And please also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel while you're at it. So let's get started. So first off, I think I'm gonna start with the largest size first. This is the large drawer pouch. I don't remember the designer's name, but this is in the pink sparkle and I really love it. I don't think it's available on the shop right now. Um, which is a bit of a shame because it's definitely one of my favorites. So it just has this kind of brown fabric material and then you kind of have the um, beautiful raised fabric dots here in the various colors of pink. So you have some darker magentas, a more brighter pink here, and then this one is more of a cranberry color. So it's very beautiful. I love this drawer pouch. Um, this configuration has a large back pocket and as you can see the inside of this particular pouch is hot pink and I love that about it because it kind of looks really bright on the inside. So it does come with two zippers that you can use to close them at the very top like this. I think it looks really cute. It kind of reminds me of like a laptop case but it's just a lot smaller. But for this, I have taken out a lot of what I usually keep in here just because um, you wouldn't be able to see the pocket configuration. But basically, you do have this large mesh pocket over here so you can fit a lot of larger sticker sheets, um, papers, scrapbooking paper, and that kind of stuff. Um, you do have this large pocket. In the center, there is a zippered pocket here which you can put more stickers or pens or things like that. Then you have another second pocket here. Over on this area, if you can see closely, there are a lot of different slots. So there are nine slots here. And actually what I do is I put my sticker flakes in there. So instead of keeping them in the cello, which can definitely bulk up this pouch, I just put them in here so that um, they're easily accessible. I know what each pocket is, so it's very easy for me to kind of put my hand in there and grab what I need. Um, I just have some sticky notes in there. And then at the back of that, you do have another large pocket that goes all the way. And then the very back here actually has um, a seam here. So it divides it into two pockets. And if you have any quarter sheets from sticker shops, then those will fit perfectly in here. So um, I've been really utilizing this pouch quite a lot. Um, I haven't done a video on what I'd normally keep inside of here, but it's usually stickers, papers, anything that I want to use in my Hobonichi journals, I usually keep in here. It's the perfect size for that. So if you would like to see that video, I can definitely do it for you. Um, I just took out everything for the purpose of this video, just so you can see all the pocket configuration without anything getting in the way. But I definitely love this size. I think that if you are someone that likes to journal a lot or carries a lot of different pens, papers, and that kind of thing, then the larger size is probably best for you. Um, it definitely is a little bit more pricey, especially if you get ones that are made by the designers. But um, I do think it's worth it. I really love this and I've definitely been using it a lot ever since I got it. So this is the large size. Um, this is the medium size. So this is the Anne pouch. I feel like this is quite popular with the Hobonichi community. And as you can see, it's quite a bit smaller than the large. So 
probably two or three inches off the top and maybe one and a half on the side. But these two also have the kind of accordion feature to it. So if you don't know what I mean, I'll show you. So it kind of has similar pocket configuration in that it has a lot of card slots on one side, um, large pockets on the other, a zippered pocket, and then more card slots. So I will take out what I have in here so I can better show you what I've got. But basically I use this to store my Hobonichi Weeks. So this is my Hobonichi Weeks for 2021 and it actually fits perfectly with the cover on cover in it. And I even have a bow on there and it fits perfectly in one of these slots. You can zip it up and take it with you anywhere you want to go. So this will fit the Hobonichi Cousins or any A5 notebook, but just without the cover. But you can fit just the actual Hobonichi Journal notebook in here. So that is just something to note um, if you are familiar with the Hobonichi planners and their sizes. This is better suited for a cousin and this is better suited for a week. So let's get back to the medium size. So as you can see there, my Hobonichi fits really perfectly in there. And this is just the regular weeks. It's not the mega, but I'm sure that you can probably fit the mega in here depending on how much you stuff the rest of this guy. But just like the large, it does have the exterior pocket, but instead of having the two, um, zippered it only has one and then it actually kind of has this wristlet um, type of closure here so um, you can use it to kind of hold it and open it like that or if you are carrying it with you you can wrap it around your wrist and then carry it with you as like a clutch almost so if you are curious about the design of this this is the MT collab that they did. So it's the pink mix. So it's supposed to look like little pieces of washi tape. And I really love it because it actually matches the cherry blossom weeks for this year perfectly. So that's why I picked up this one is because I already had this and I felt like it would match perfectly. So the rest of the pouch has a little bit of taupey browns and whites. So I think it's quite cute. Um, the interior is this cream color, which I really like. I prefer ones that have brighter colors or lighter colors inside just so you can see what you have in there a little bit easier. If it's colors that are black or like navy, I find it a little bit harder to um, find your things. So that's just something to keep in mind if you are shopping for a pouch. But the configuration of this is much like the large. You do have the large back pocket and you know, your Hobonichi Week sticker kits can fit perfectly in there. Over here, you do get the nine card slots once again. You do have another pocket here as well as this one. And actually it has these extra ones here where you can put smaller items. So they're a little bit larger than a typical card. So for example, this is the stencil and it's a little bit longer than that by maybe like an inch or two. And in here I usually just keep the adhesive pockets that come with the weeks. So you get two of those and then also you get another pouch. And in here I like to keep really skinny washi tape which I like to embellish my weekly pages with. So it's nice to have that in there. And then also you do have another pocket here. I just have my tweezers. And then you have nine more slots. So these are really good for keeping like these translucent dot stickers. They fit really nicely in there. You do have another one pocket that runs the length of the entire pouch. So I just keep my foiled stickers in there. So this is definitely one of my favorite pouches of the entire line, just because it's so functional. You can keep all your sticker kits in one place. Plus it acts as a case for your Hobonichi Weeks as well. And I definitely feel like I would like to get another one perhaps in a different color or a different fabric, but we'll see about that. I really love this one though. So that is the medium size that is also called the Ane. Let me show you what the medium looks like against the small. So this is the small jar pouch. It kind of has a different configuration 
than all of the other ones because whereas these ones are the accordion style this one is kind of like a book style it kind of opens like this similar with the kind of wristlet dangle here and then this is what it looks like so you can see it's not like the accordion which opens like this this one opens flat and it has different configurations so this one is called the sugar rose I do believe that this one is still in the shop and it's one of my all-time favorites because I love the combination of this kind of really pale green with the pink exterior. I really like this fabric as well. Um, this one has one back pocket going this way so it's vertical instead of horizontal and then it kind of has a mesh bit on this side which you can open up and it has like this belly band elastic which you can slot your pens in. I usually keep the more bigger items, things like adhesive, glue, scissors, that kind of thing. I also keep my fountain pens in this area but I am cleaning those out so that's why they're not in here right now. I do have some more Lamy's here and then some Muji pens. So this one pocket at the back goes all the way down there so you can fit a lot of things inside like pens, markers. It's not long enough to fit Tombow markers though so just keep that in mind. This one as you can see runs the length it hits at the bottom here and then you do have the smaller pocket. So I feel like um, this one is great if you are wanting to use it as a pencil case only. It won't hold as many things as like the NA for example. So I feel like this is probably best to use as a pencil case and that's what I've been using mine as. So that is the small. Once again I will show you the size comparison with the medium and the large. So this is the small. It's not that much more smaller. But because of the way that this is configured, I don't feel like you can fit as much in it. Definitely the medium is larger on the side and on the top. And then I will show you it in comparison to the large as well. So these are the different sizes. So the large, the medium, and then this is the small. So you can see like this. Okay, so that is everything that I have so far. And then the newest one that I got is the pocket. So the pocket is really small in comparison. So this is the small size and then this is the little pocket. So looks like this, really sweet. Since this is a pocket size, you definitely can't put as many things inside of it. Um, the one that I got is called the Marine Tweed. I love this pattern so beautiful and it just feels so amazing. So mine has this large navy wristlet which I think makes it look really elegant and then you also do get the silver chain as well. So it's different than all my others which have gold. And then the inside of it looks like this. So it's much more simple in style. You only get four pockets. So one here, one here, one here, and then one here. Um, and then mine has the cream interior, so I really like that. So it's easier to see inside. Um, one thing to note is that there are holes at the bottom. So if you want to put things like small earrings or coins, um, they may fall out. So just keep that in mind. But I do think that the pocket size is really great for um, things to keep in your purse. So either acting as a wallet or maybe like keeping things like your powder or your lipstick. So for me, I've just been keeping all my credit cards in here. I obviously took them out for the purpose of this video, but I feel like it's a perfect size for that. You can definitely fit a lipstick or two in here, just depending on the bulk and size of what lipstick that you use. So let me show you the size comparison against all the other ones. So I did show you what it looked like against the small, so it's quite a bit smaller than the small size. If you want to compare the pocket to the medium size, you can see that it's a lot smaller. So quite a big difference for the medium size. And then obviously for the large, that is what it looks like. So I will kind of show you all four of them stacked on top of one another. 
So you can see all of the sizes in comparison to one another. That is what it looks like on the side there. So out of all of them, these three here are the accordion style. The only one that is not, and that's more of like a book style, would be this one. It's the small. If you are looking for something to store your planning or journaling supplies, I would definitely recommend um, the larger size. But if you want something to store your Hobonichi Weeks as well as the sticker kits and things like that, the NA or medium size pouch is good. Um, if you want more of a pencil case, then I would suggest the small size. So for anything smaller, like a wallet, then I would suggest the pocket. Um, you probably won't be able to fit anything else in terms of stationery inside of here, unless you just have, you know, one of the small Kobeko fountain pens or like a very tiny notepad or notebook. But I think it's really great in terms of a wallet or like a little purse or clutch that you want to take out. So I do have videos on what I usually keep in these two. So I will link that video. I haven't done a video on these two yet. So if you guys want to see that video, then please do leave a comment down below. So I know that you guys want to see that and I will happily film that for you. But um, that is my updated Hobonichi drawer pouch um, size comparison. If there is a different size that you guys want to see, then do let me know also. And I'll think about picking that up so I can do another one of these videos. But hopefully I covered everything. Obviously, if you want specific um, dimensions and all that, check out the Hobonichi store because they have all that there for you. I just want to give you a visual of what they kind of look like and their basic configuration. But that is my video for today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!